Prime Minister Netanyahu is currently advancing the nationality bill towards its second and third readings in the Knesset, but not without some last-minute changes. If passed, the law would prioritize Jewish law over democratic law where they clash, would officially designate Jerusalem as Israel's capital, and Arabic as the second official language, among other changes. Opponents to the bill, like Meretz leader Tamar Zandberg, however, call the bill racist and unnecessary. Well, joining me now in the studio with more, our political advisor and peace activist Nir Avishai Cohen, and legal advisor to the Israeli Movement for Governability and Democracy, or Meshilut, attorney Simcha Rotman. Thank you both very much for coming mm -hmm. in today. So, uh, my first question, I'm going to start with you, Neil. How is this law racist? First, I want to take advantage of the last moment that I have to speak some Arabic because this law is a one step doing Arabic illegal here in the public area. You think they're trying to make Arabic illegal? For sure. And the bottom line of this law that this is a racist law. And why it's a racist law? Because this law prefers the Jews besides and not the, the Arabs and both of the, the Jews and the Arabs are part of the society and they are they should have the same rights and I don't understand why to change the status of the Arabic that it is like its official language since uh, 1948. So I don't understand. Well, but the, the new but the new law I will say this at least it keeps it as the second official language. So no, so I mean it no. doesn't sound like they're it banning will be, it. It will be in a, in a special status, but not not a official mm. status as it is right now. See, I I, will, I don't know what law does my friend speak about because the law is very clear. It's for the first time give the Arabic a status. In the basic law, not, he didn't have any status in any Israeli law until now, and he wasn't, and it's, uh, it's just not true, it was not a formal language in Israel, never. It is, and, it is right And now. it's for the first time it gets a special, the, many people in Israel speak Russian, uh, some almost, almost more than speak Arab, as and Russian does not get any special uh, recognition well, in this but, law. But, but Arabic over, over a fifth does. of the country speaks Arabic. 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 But Arabic does. Arabic does get a special treatment in this law, in a law that his name is Israel is the nation, 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 state, nation state for the Jewish people, sure. get the Arabic, get a special recognition. So, so to say that this law bans Arabic or this law is racist, it's not based on anything but trying okay. to make this law. So, but in the I same, don't like this law same vein. for many other reasons, but not for the, but, but to say that this law is racist is just a lie. But, okay, but in the same vein, if we're sticking with the, with the Arabic language, while I disagree and I, and I don't think, uh, you know, it's, it looks like it's going to ban it or maybe it will pave the way, but what it, the first reading of the bill that did pass enshrined Arabic, uh, making it more accessible in all government uh, offices. Well, but the Which second is not reading, the case now. But this exactly the second the second reading. This new bill has changed that to make it where they don't necessarily have to uh, include Arabic. So why not? If a fifth the, of the country the, still speaks the, it? the changes that the bill has passed from since the first reading to the second reading was trying all the time because of a reason that I support mm. to make it less uh, um, um, to do. It's the law does not make the government do anything. It's more a declarative kind of law in all aspects. It changed and took out many, many of the, the, the articles that was in the first reading were either made more um, uh, uh, vague or because, because they don't want this law to be uh, um, a law that makes the government do stuff or make Israel do stuff. It's supposed to be a declarative law saying Israel is the nation state of the Jewish people. But and, not, and, not and just, in a very, just in a very zoom people. out kind of, so anything so, that is operative in this law was taken out, but not only the Arabic issue. A, right. lot, of, a lot of the issues were taken out because of the so same we'll, reason. Guys, so we'll get guys, to that in a second. Let's, but yeah. let's, let's not be innocent. This law, okay, or a language is part of a culture. And the fact that you make the Arab not as an official language, it, it's a kind of a try, make the Arab culture not part of the Israeli society. It's part of a process. We have to open our eyes really to understand the, to understand the, law the, has wide, the wide perspective. Okay, the politicians trying okay. to push aside the Arabs from the society. That's what the law the makes. The law, for the first time, says that any person, regardless of nation 
all in Israel has the right to preserve his language, his culture, his education. That's in the new in the new version. It gives rights that never was to the and to, to the Arab so, minority. So to say, I, I understand why Meretz, as an opposition party, will try to say that it's a bad law. But read the law. The so law, not, so the law not does, does exactly so like the, the fact, but the fact so that to say that this law is racist is a lie, is a propaganda, is a lie and propaganda. So I'd like to follow up on that. I will, I, will, I will say why it's not a propaganda. Because giving the Jewish, a Jewish village or a Jewish society the opportunity not to accept Arabs, because they are Arabs, it okay. gives, and this sorry. this one is a racist this, law. This, because, the, the, situation right. today, the situation in Israel today, the situation in Israel today is that Arabs can have Arab-only settlements by the Supreme Court uh, rulings, and Jews cannot have. That's the case today. This no, law this tries not, to do, and the law, is, and the law says, and the law says, anyone can make community uh, 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 um, uh, settlements. Jews, Arabs, religious, secular, and not accepting based on, someone and, because, and, that because he's law, an Arab. That right, the well, law in Israel today yeah. is that Arabs cannot accept, right. Arab settlements does not accept Jews, and it's supported by okay. Supreme Court ruling. All right. But, Unfortunately, gentlemen, I have to cut. I have to cut the conversation short. Thank, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.